Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope, and today we're playing Mantis Falls. A game of trust. By Distant Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a two-player social deduction game? Well, you could technically play it with three, but yes, that is That's, exactly what it is. It was designed around the concept of playing head-to-head -head against a partner, and two-player social deduction games are few and far between. What you're doing in this game is that you're going to be managing a set of action cards and every turn players are going to play those cards. Here's the trick. You could both be witnesses to something horrible that happened that we will get through at that theme very soon or one of you could potentially be an assassin trying to deceive the other player, trying to dwindle their health down by giving excuses, mm -hmm. by trying to trick them into allowing themselves a hit over here and a hit over there until unfortunately they've accumulated everything they need to bring you completely down. Now we haven't checked our roles in our character cards yet so we can't spoil anything until we start flipping those over but mm -hmm. once we do the real game will begin. We have to work together because this road is hard. Yes. We both need to survive to win, especially if we're both witnesses. That's been the agreement that's been made that you'll hear through the flavor text in just a moment. Mm -hmm. However, if one of us is an assassin, has yep. replaced the other witness with a hitman, well then, this game's still hard. Oh yeah, Surviving for sure. the road is still hard and working together becomes a little complicated. The way you win the game is by both of these meeples representing your characters, making it all the way to the end of the road. The issue here is that there's a lot of dangers in between. Through a serpentine motion, we're gonna go through all these cards, all the way through here, and then make it to that end. And every card is gonna trigger a series of events that we have to mm -hmm. respond to. Along with that, your player cards will also create havoc, set up conditions, potentially damage the other person mm -hmm. in the process of helping. Yeah, well, maybe. So maybe. that push and pull, that mm -hmm. how much trust do I give you versus how much do I try to rely on myself or how far do I run forward ahead? Now, let me go over the win conditions just so we are on the same page. Super here. clear. Game end in victory. Escape. A turn begins with all players at the end of the road. Or death. A player is dead and all necessary last gasps are gone. Okay. Witnesses win if no witness is dead. Okay. Assassin wins if they are alive and a witness is dead. Okay. It is a complicated journey no matter what, and like I said, we have not yet checked our roles, so there's no way either of us are aware. And one last clarifying thing, uh, in this game, you're gonna be able to add modules depending on the complexity mm -hmm. that you're looking for, especially when you're playing with three players, there's a necessary module in there, which is called the triad module. In this game, because we've played before, because we're a little sure. bit more familiar, we've gone ahead and included the full circle module, which is going to add a lot of new action cards and some of these allies. What we're gonna do, um, in this particular gameplay is that it's a gameplay, it's not how to play, mm -hmm. but we will walk you through our turns, kind of explaining things little by little, okay? Sure. So, with all that being said, I think it's time for some flavor text. Set up the flavor text, then let's go over the board state here so people understand what we're interacting with, mm -hmm. and then let's swing right into the gameplay. You are in a mob rule town of the 1940s, and at least one of you was a witness to something you were not supposed to see. You need to make it across town, alive, where there are people that can protect you. But your journey will be a dangerous one. You are informed that another witness will join you. By working together, you may have much better chance of surviving. But what if there are not who they claim to be? Bum bum bum! That's the flavor text. So that's the setting. That's what we're dealing with. That's why we're going down this road. We need to get to that car that's going to pick us up and it is not going to be an easy journey to get there. now. Like you stated, we are going through three phases of the game, mm -hmm. road at sunset, the road at night, and the road at dark in order to get to the end of the road here. Along the way, we'll have certain things we can interact with, bus stops and phone booths. We'll have encounters that trigger and can damage us. Mm -hmm. We will also have event cards. Which are not always nice. Uh, these are usually going to entail either situations that are not favorable to us or opposition cards. Opposition cards are going to be divided into two very unique ways. Sure. You're gonna have a scene opposition, which is 
a shadowy figure on the end of the road that we can both admit to and try to address and try to take down so that we can continue moving forward, or an unseen threat where you're, there's definitely something there, but the information in that card, the way the damage sure. is dealt, everything in there is a little bit murky. Here's where the real heart of the game starts coming. You pull an unseen card. Mm -hmm. You tell me, we have a bad guy that we're facing. Oh, He's gonna we? deal us a lot of damage. We need to do three on him. Now the okay. reality is this card only needs one damage to clear, but I want him to spend some cards because I don't quite trust him with the amount of bullets I know he has. So we need to deal three damage. That, that's great because I just get a card that's gonna deal four in total. Perfect, so if you play that, uh -huh. I'll help build our deck here. Okay. So we'll be in a good position. Yeah, yeah, I think so that's great. So go to put that down. Okay. Now he plays that and we succeed. We mm -hmm. clear. I never have to reveal the fact that I potentially lied or let's say that you tricked me and mm -hmm. you were holding the card and I played down something and it wasn't quite enough to succeed. Mm -hmm. Well, then you're going to resolve the card. The only thing you can't manipulate or lie about is the exact text on the card when it comes to resolution. Yep. Here's the trick. Some of these unseed cards might say someone takes one or three damage. Mm -hmm. Or it could be divide up four damage or divide stoplight damage equal to whatever. Mm -hmm. And so there's some room for me to not lie about how the card proceeds, but also not tell you that I had the choice to give you one. Because you could potentially Man, say, so sorry, but you're gonna still take three damage. Why am I taking three damage? Well, it's it just says the, the person I'm working with takes three damage, even if we succeed. It was a lot worse if we didn't succeed. Um, yeah, you're taking three. Oh, wow. Well, that, that it sucks. sucks. You know, this game sucks. Though. Like, there's, yeah. there's, this is just part of the play experience, right? Mm hmm So that's going to be the, mm -hmm. uh, the event decks, and you'll see them come into play. The, the dynamic between us trying to figure out, again, I'm so excited to flip these. I really am. Along with that, there's two other key areas we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. First off is going to be the conserved energy here. This is a salient part that we need to be purposeful about interacting with. It's one of the ways we trade cards between each mm -hmm. other. It's also one of the ways that we can spend cards to move up the road or get health back. But we'll only be able to do that if both of us are taking turns to add cards up there. Yeah, I would call that a rainy day fund because if you're able to accumulate four cards here, you're either going to be able to do two things. Move one additional space on your turn, mm -hmm. which is huge, or heal one wound, which is even bigger. Or, for instance, if I have a lot of bullets and you have a gun, it is worthwhile for me to stick stuff up there because when you draw back up, you're always going to fill your hand to your maximum mm -hmm. limit. You can draw from that public marketplace, seeing and handing off and trading items between each other. Now, the few other like little things that we want to point out, and the second other major thing is going to be our last gasp action. If you hit the maximum amount of wounds that you can take, which in this game will also reveal your character card because mm -hmm. that can be variable based off of which character we were assigned, mm -hmm. you will then go into a phase called last gasp. You won't die immediately. <gasps> you have three stages of the last gasp phase where you can play cards from your hand, it pauses the game, you play your action cards, you try to regain health, and then you move your last gasp down one and you continue with the play, the progression, you continue flowing. So. You can't just straight up kill me. You mm -hmm. might shoot me in the arm or might like hit me in the stomach with a really good one. I get a chance to breathe and a chance to come back. Now, if you cycle through three of those phases without regaining some of your last breaths, then you die. Yeah, you're Or out. if you remain at your maximum wounds and you're unable to heal yourself and your opponent is unable to help you out at all, then you're also dead. Which means we lose the game, Jim. Uh, no, I, 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 I emphasize get it. That. that means we lose the game. Sure, we lose the game. Very specifically. Mm -hmm. We. Mm -hmm. So that is that is the stage we're playing on. And that's sort of the turn order. And you'll see that, like we said, we'll walk through our turns as we play. But all that being said, mm -hmm. I, I think it's time for us to go ahead and draw up seven cards and take a look at our characters and roles. So let's be clear. We're going to only draw six cards, including this card that we have in front of us. And this is a midnight card. These are special cards uh, that are going to be really mostly at the end of the game. Um, and we both get the exact same one. And it's calling a hit. I think you can pretty much understand or anticipate what that is if you are suspecting another player if you are pretty sure that they are not who they seem you can call in a hit 
to take them out as much as possible. We have uh, powerful friends in all the right places. Now, yes, we do. because this is a social deduction game, mm -hmm. which means there is hidden information, one thing that I'm gonna do for the gameplay is actually do cutaways mm -hmm. for the audience, showing all of the information throughout the course of play. So mm -hmm. as we're working together or not working together or trying to murder each other or trying to survive and not trusting, you, the audience, you're gonna know what's up. You'll have some insight. So here's how we're gonna do that. Okay. When it gets to our turn to look at our role, look at our character, or look at a unrevealed event card, we'll play it face up right here. I'll close my eyes during mm -hmm. your turn, you'll mm -hmm. close your eyes during my turn, mm -hmm. and we will make it to the end of the road and we will survive. Okay. Okay. I'm down with that. Interesting. So, uh, Sir, if you'll go ahead and uh, if you'll go ahead and close your eyes for just a moment oh, for me. Oh, I'm the first one. Okay. I'm uh, I'm gonna take a look at my role and my character card here. Okay, and I'm gonna look at my character card now. These character cards are very different from <laughs> the uh, from the standard ones that we just played with. They're kind of cool. Is it my turn? I'm so not okay. used to being with yep. my eye closed against this camera. Eyes, uh, my eyes are now closed. It okay. is now your turn to take a look. Well, let's see everyone what we got. Okay, very interesting. Character cards are cool, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. We're ready. Ready to go? Yes, we are. Interesting. Oh, and we need to take a little bit of time to read our cards. So as we go through these cards, because some of them are already familiar to me, uh, cards are going to be really interesting. Uh, if you have the same symbol for a set of cards, you can play as many of that symbol as you like. Uh, so that means if you have three of the same symbol, you can play three cards. If you have two, you can play two. And if you have seven, you could potentially play seven. The trick here is that you can never combine symbols with the exception of a card telling you to do so. Every turn, we're going to play one card face down or a sequence of card face down. And whoever's turn it is, is going to alternate play. The players whose turn first will flip his card then Jesse, probably, then me, then Jesse, then me, until all cards are resolved. What are we trying to do with those cards? Well, it depends, really. If we have an event card that we're fighting some suspicious character that's trying to do us harm, then we both, or maybe one of us, through coordination and team and tactics, might want to go against and take down that guy so that we don't take a lot of damage. Sure. Or... We might want to keep moving up that road. We might want to keep advancing as much as we can without necessarily leaving the other player behind. Sure. Okay? So I actually know most of these, so I'm ready to go. Yeah, what about I, you? I've glanced over my cards. I believe okay. I'm ready and in position. Now, who's going to be the first player? Hmm. And this road here will actually be revealed because there's yep. always one ahead of us that we can see. What do you got? Okay, not Just too bad. Telephone. I'll, you know what? I'll go first. Okay. I'll go first. So, what do you do at the beginning of your turn? Are you staying or moving? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You decide if you're going to move a, move ahead. I don't have things that I want here. So, I'm going to go ahead and move in here into our very first step. Okay. Which immediately reveals here our next go. card. Okay, so we got a bus, two, two, and one. These effects, this stoplight, is going to indicate some elements within these event cards. And speaking of event cards... Now, after you decide to move or stay, you reveal the first one. And look at that. It's something you cannot see. So if you could please close your eyes. You certainly will. And I will... I feel like this is off to a bad start. I will do my very best to explain what this is. Mm -hmm. is it, okay. Is it, a, uh, is it a nemesis? No, no, no. I have good news. So this particular card is not going to affect us at all. So feel okay. free to open your eyes. It's not bad. We're ready to go. I'll take events like that. Yeah, always take events like that, right? Sounds good to me. Uh, so, Jesse, it's time that we make some decisions here. Yeah, we can here. do our action phase here. Mm -hmm. Are we going to start adding things to our conservatory? What are we thinking? Oh, I already have my turn. Oh, you're actually doing things now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to try to help out a little bit. Oh, are you? I'm gonna I'm gonna add a card up here to the conserved energy spot. I Go feel ahead. like the mistakes we've made in past gameplays 
have uh, have been that we haven't had access up here. I don't know. It seems like, well, we'll see. I'm revealing this private call. I'm gonna go ahead and take oh, you're some ally friends? cards. Yes, friends. Friends are what makes the world go round, Jesse. Okay, so I've decided who I'm taking. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get an ally, so how allies work? They're gonna have thresholds of cards that you need to collect of that particular ally. Yeah, like uh, three equals one full character. I've gone ahead, because of my private call, we are in a phone booth space. That's these symbols right here. I can take two ally cards. So I'm going to take Mr. Nash. So anytime you have an ally, you must reveal them face up for everyone to see. Now, Mr. Nash is going to allow me to take eight cards instead of just seven oh, at the end of every turn. That's good for both Pretty of us. Pretty good. And another thing to keep in mind in this particular game is that every time that anything is discarded, it will get discarded face down. Yep. Okay. Every single time. Mm -hmm. So that's going to go right there. Interesting. And we can continue moving forward. This event gets discarded. As I said, nothing bad happened. All good. And now it's your turn, sir. Draw back up, right? Yes, we do. So if you played however many cards, you will get to draw back up to your total. And now that I have Mr. Nash, I get eight. I'm gonna move forward. Uh, Sunset isn't the most dangerous area, and I like the idea of us trying to stick together as much mm -hmm. as possible. Um, hopefully we can get to that bus location, maybe both fast forward or something. I don't have a bus card yet, but if you have one and you can put one in the conserved energy, I could actually pick that up. I'm going to play cards this turn. Uh, so you're already preparing. I haven't even pulled the event. Oh, that's true. I cannot show you this. Okay. So? so close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's going to happen here? Uh, we are both receiving two wounds. If we don't, if we don't stop this event from happening? No, that's the effect. No. Let's wait until because I have. Oh, is there? Are you sure? Because I have something here that can that can stop this event. Well, right now we have an effect. Okay, don't worry. Let's leave it there in the middle of the table. Trust in your teammate. Okay. Okay. Trust in me. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, and you just okay. You did decide to move. Perfect. Mm. So I am playing down two cards. Okay, I I really want to get some stuff out of my hand. I think I can cycle. What are could, you trying to get into I your could hand? Discard down. I just don't have Why a lot of. Why did you smile very <laughs> very slightly? Stop. You're picking on me. Hmm. You're picking hmm. on me. You're the worst. Guys, you can you're tell already, me right now. You're already spreading suspicion, which is. Guys, awful. you can tell me right now. What is he? He can't okay. hear us. Do you happen to have a card called Strength in Numbers? Oh, I don't know why I should tell you that. Because <laughs> it helps both of us if you do. If not, I, I want to try I to don't. get rid of it. I don't have Strength in Numbers right now. I could discard two down or I could play one just as a condition. Yep, that's also another action. You can discard cards in order to free up and get some more into your hand. That is a very viable thing. I just, the cards that I have right now don't chain together. I have something that actually ties to a to a thing that I had last time. Okay. Uh, so like, it's nice seeing this version. It would be nice to have the complimentary card to it though. Uh, I think sadly, I know what you're referring to. It doesn't allow me to heal unless I have it. Mm, I can help you with that actually. Yeah? Okay. But when I don't need to play cards. Okay, great. I also have <laughs> a pile of bullets, which is what I had last time as well. Bullets are so important here, apparently. <sighs> Gotta be shooting. Yeah, but I don't have a gun. I didn't have a gun. That's fine. We'll find one. Trust me. It'll it'll get it'll get in the right hands. All right. All right. Here's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add another one to the slot up there. Okay, go I ahead. Think it's worthwhile. Sticking a bullet up here. Oh, and we begin. Okay, so that means that I'm just gonna resolve everything first. Teamwork. Event card is prevented. See, pretty good, right? Okay. Next, flashback. Grab this card and place it back in my hand. Oh, interesting. Hmm? Okay. And then both of these cards get discarded, and now we draw back up. You are acting player, so you get to draw first, and me, I'll get to draw one. And that, Mr. Anderson, is how we do another turn. Okay. So, 
keep moving forward. Let's see, do I have anything particularly special? No, I do not. I will be moving forward. I want to keep this train going. And we're going to draw another event card. Ooh. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I can't see this one either. You cannot. Oh, dear Lord. So, mm -hmm. we're dealing with a pretty meaty guy. Okay. Do you actually um, have to do some damage? Yeah. All right. This is actually some of the highest they've seen. Oof, we're gonna have to deal around five damage total. So that, that really sucks. Five? Yeah. I haven't seen this guy, like, it's a, it's a pretty big event deck, I guess, but this is new. <sighs> How much can you do? Can I open my eyes yet? Yeah, yeah, you can open. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I can do much, actually. Well, I can I do a like thing. feel like you're screwing with me. No, 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 no. I like, really, I can do, I, I can really do stuff, do. but it's not enough. Um... Mm. I do, like, there's some good news. Uh, well, that's not really going to affect us. I can definitely get one wound down. You can get one wound? <laughs> I can definitely get one. Oh, that sucks, man. Um, yeah, this this is bad. Mm. I guess I could do this, but I really don't want to. Okay, fine. I will play this. And you're sure you can't do more damage? Yeah, I, I've i got two cards I can play. One of them's a condition, one of them deals a wound. So. Okay. That's what I can do. Are we going to get him? Please tell me we're going to get him. <sighs> Maybe, but I really don't want to do this. Okay. Um, so, first... Private call. Take ally cards from the deck. You're really liking your friends, aren't you? I'm gonna take Mr. Barnes. What does he do? Doesn't matter. Flip yours, trust me. Deal one wound. Okay. <laughs> Dealing to him. Are you yanking out his teeth? Yeah. That's what oh Yeah, I, I I used a pair of uh, a pair of uh, pliers just Oof. to hardcore. So, next. Necessary sacrifice. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Um, return up to two completed allies in play for either player to the ally deck. Oh no. Deal three wounds to the event opposition for each ally returned this way. So goodbye, Mr. Barnes. He goes back and So into that makes the it four. Oh no, right, I need to take out Mr. Nash. Hmm. I kinda want I, I think I prefer to take the hit, honestly. I don't want to sacrifice so many guys. What was the next card I played? No, I won't help. Mm, this sucks. Fine. I'll take down Mr. Nash. Okay. That really sucks. That hurts. I did plan around that a little bit, but not too much, so go ahead, flip yours. This is just a condition. Okay, what do you got? Call medic. Medical condition, yeah. Keep as a condition. Uh, heal with a hit. Anytime you put the other player at their maximum wound total by playing a call and a hit, heal two wounds for yourself. What are you doing? I'm getting it out of my hand. Oh, are you? <laughs> I am! That's what I told you I was doing! That is genuinely what I told you I was doing. Uh-huh. So, uh, next we're gonna play Whispers. I'm gonna take one ally card. And I'm going to take that card. Bring it back? Yep. Okay. Well, you don't know what it is. Well, you probably do. And everything gets sent back out. All these cards get discarded. I will now determine what the unseen event is. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, nothing's gonna happen. It would have been pretty positive if it did, but we're already golden. Would have been positive, what do you mean? Uh, we would have healed. If, oh, because mm -hmm. we defeated it, but we're already at good health. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. That's uh, pretty much it. So I, because I'm first player, I get to draw. And another interesting thing is that you can use any of these cards mm -hmm. in order to draw back up to your hand. Unfortunately, but we I'm, kind of want to keep things up there because yeah. we can also use them to cycle stuff. And I don't have Mr. Nash anymore, so I can only draw these. Okay. Oh, actually, I drew one. I drew one that I wasn't supposed. Does to. your does your starting card count still? 
So it should only be... You have seven cards total. Seven cards total. Yep. Okay, so this one should not be. And I haven't okay. looked at it, so I don't remember what it is. I've got something that can help both of us out if we can both get to a phone booth. Okay. Um, which we're not going to be able to do at the moment. But... Cool. That's not bad. Alright, so I'm going to move forward. This should be revealed now. Oh, we have a phone booth coming up. Okay. Not too bad, and let's draw an event card. Okay, scene. Tragedy. Oh. Effect. Oh. All complete it allies in play for both players to return to the ally deck. Oh, okay. Uh, so that actually is okay. Yeah. Uh, if at least one ally is lost this way, you take an ally card. So nothing happens. Excellent. But okay, we still so have our play phase. I'm pretty happy with my last turn then. Because yeah, I would have lost everyone. Bad. You would have lost everyone anyway. <sighs> I think I want to do this. You know, I might just add something to, uh, to the top there again. Okay. I might discard down. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. We both want to add one to the top there? Work together? Yep. Okay, because you don't have strength in numbers, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to add this up there okay. so that if one of us gets it, we can actually take, pick that up. That's going to be able to deal four wounds to an opposition, but only if you have a secondary one. Okay. I'm going to place that. Okay. Contention? What does contention do? It lets you steal a condition. Okay, from another so you, player. Could, you could take this, you could take... Well, I can't tell you what conditions I have. You could take items or, or effects. Mm -hmm. Now, conditions yes. are unlimited. Mm -hmm. uh, they get them out of your hand, and they allow you to um, utilize or have things in different situations. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'll be playing that, and that's, that's it for both of us. Okay. So go ahead and draw back up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to draw one. I'm going to take this. You're going to take a bullet. I am. That's the same bullet I put down there. You know why I'm taking the bullet. What are you doing? I don't trust you with <laughs> a gun. Why don't you trust me with a gun? I don't trust you with a gun. You, you were, now, you're, now you're... I have to have the gun so that if you get someone that we need to shoot in the face, I can shoot them in the face. I can shoot them in the face as well. Do you have a gun? No, but if you play a gun, I'm definitely going to take it. That's fine. You can't use the bullet. It doesn't matter. I prefer having the gun. The bullets will come. All right. I, I'm fine if you take the gun. Okay. I picked up the bullet because I have a gun. If you're fine with the gun, I'm fine this with... next turn, you should place it up there so I can take it. I should place the gun up there? Yes. Then I have to place the bullet up there, and then you'd have to be able to refill two. Yep. So you need to cycle two. Yep. It would take two turns to get that to you. Yep. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Cool. I just want to communicate to you <laughs> don't... that you need to win my trust. Okay? I need to win your trust. Yes, what are you, you do. talking about? You need to win my trust. I did I don't know. I have I have an inkling suspicion about you this time. Okay. Great. Why would you take you could have left the bullet there and just pick it up later. You can't. If this is going to be your turn. I know, I know. I just got a gun in my hand. I know, I understand. If you move forward and we have another person mm -hmm. you're the last guy killed two of your people. I know, he did. You, that means, I, as far as I'm concerned, you don't have anything else that does damage. My only damage card was strength in numbers. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're casting suspicion on did me. Did you draw back up? I'm, I am drawn back up. You are at seven? Not seven. Okay. So let's keep pushing this forward. Okay. I'm going to move forward. Mm hmm And I will be taking another event card. I swear if this is hidden. It's not. Okay. Unfortunately, we've been caught off guard. And we both take a wound. The other okay. player must show you three of their action cards. Their choice of cards. That's fine. Oh, you, is it? I have a gun. Okay. Uh-huh. A I bullet. I have a bullet. Oh, how, how convenient. Uh -huh. And I have the phone call that I told you. So once I move to this location, I can help us draw back up our alley cards. And okay. I will do that. Okay. <laughs> you little, you snot. I, I want you to believe. play. I, I want you to play that gun. You. Cannot believe you. What, what do you mean? I, I don't know. I, I think I've been doing great so thus far. You mean to play the gun right now? That's what yes. you're asking for? Yes. I do want you to play the gun. Just so you can steal it? We're going to waste an entire turn on you <laughs> stealing the gun from me? Fine, fine, fine. You're right. You're right. Here. Do your turn. Here's no, what no, I'll no. do. Over there? Sure. Okay. I like that. And you know what? I will, as a token of good faith, Okay. I will place this, which you need. I do need that. 
I know you do. <laughs> okay, uh, you did have what I was asking yes. for. That's funny. Okay, so <laughs> we have both plays. One thing you need and one thing I need, yeah. right? I'm not. I'm not gonna pick up from there right now. Okay, so this is discarded. Goes right there. Yeah, I'm. I will be picking this up. Of course you will. I figured mm -hmm. you would. Now I have the bullet you need. It doesn't matter. It's fine. You don't know if I have bullets. Okay. He doesn't know, right? I. All right. <laughs> You're really causing trouble. This squabbling <laughs> is going to get us killed. I have a bad feeling this time. Because we're playing the game? I don't know, you've done like saying, very minute expressions you that like have to not... Read, you're nervous and you like to read into things. Ah, uh, well maybe. Okay. I'm or, being... or I have a really good gut feeling about <laughs> things. Could be either. Dear God. You're ridiculous. So you're moving forward? I'm moving forward. Okay. Uh, so this card now reveals... It does. Oh no, it's a broken road. If you land here, go back one. If you cross this road, take an action card by the light. By the night. By the night. So one there. Yeah, but okay. only if we're able to pass it in a single turn. Okay. Uh, and I need to drop an event mm -hmm. here in this location. Now, my plan is to get that phone booth down to allow us to get some, some allies. And you're forgetting an event card. Yeah, I know. That's... Okay. Interesting. Uh, this is fairly easy. We need to do one damage. One damage? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I have to show it to the camera. Oh, because that's unseen. It is unseen. Yeah, okay. Okay. And I'll do my quick cut up. Uh, <sighs> if I play the phone booth, because we're both on the phone booth, it'll allow us to draw up two new ally cards. Cool. Um, I wouldn't need that. I will not, however, be able to do a damage if I play that. Mm -hmm. um, I, the only thing I have is the bullet that can do damage anyway. I have nothing to hit him with this time. Unfortunately, I genuinely don't have anything. So I think we're going to have to take whatever it is. I can start getting ready for the future, that's for sure, but not anymore. Okay. Okay, so let's do it. I'm going to play down two cards. Two cards. Okay, so go ahead and reveal first. Phone call. Mm -hmm. uh, take an ally card. We're both here. Yep, both you go first. Two. Okay, cool. I'm going to take one that just gives us a boost. Let's okay. just get out of a sticky situation. Mm -hmm. So Mr. DeVarco... The man with familiarity. During either player's draw phase, you may shuffle Mr. DeVarco into the ally deck and then randomly draw three ally cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. You okay. your card? So you get the gun out. I'm equipping it. Okay, good. It's very good. Yeah, I agree. I'm a little suspicious as to why you want the gun. Because I trust myself, I don't trust <laughs> you. I have the bullet. Sure. But then perfect, then we're balanced out. It's, it's, it is really like we were walking down the road and, and you saw that I had both and you're like, take the, take the bullet out of the chamber, give me the gun. Yep, exactly. God. I think it works perfectly God, well. it's ridiculous. <laughs> Go ahead. Sneakers. Oh. Oh, look at you. Okay. So, I'm popping up to here. Mm-hmm. I have to get rid of a card. So, an ambush card, which are numbers on this board, will cause you to lose exactly the number that is press presented right there. Uh, well, good job on getting through the broken road. You, Did sir, the broken road. grab one of those cards, which are supposed to be extremely powerful, which I don't like. Okay, so let us keep moving forward. I will be drawing, since I don't, oh yeah, you actually will draw cards. So you will draw one card from the very top, right? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And then I will draw one. Except if you want to take one of those. Why did I draw a card? Because it's the end of our turn. Oh, we have to resolve this, though. Oh, we do. Yeah. <laughs> He's taking them back. Uh, we did not do any wounds. Uh-huh. But we do not take any damage. Yes, green. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay, thank gosh. Uh, so That back... was going to be bad. Back to your card. All right. And back to my card. Oh. 
Wonderful. Now I drop one more, actually. Oh, you, you'd have less than seven? Mm-hmm. This card would have been yours, I guess, but... That's all right. It's random, anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, it's going to be your turn to decide what you're going to do. Are you able to get across that road? Because if you're not, mm -hmm. I'm not sure that I'm able to get you across the road, but I can keep moving forward. Yeah, I guess it's going to be the best way. Have we discarded? Have we discarded any any buses per chance? Or oh, actually, I no. I haven't had a bus no, no, no. to spend. I know what I'm playing. Okay. I know what you I'm playing. You gotta do your event first, though. I always forget that. Yes. Obviously, I can't move. So let's go ahead and resolve this. Public. Yes, it is. Cool. How just one? Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna receive wounds to my yellow That's area. So we need to take. Can you take him down? Because I don't have anything to do with. <laughs> you just got a gun. But I don't have a bullet! This is the situation we were talking about. Well, you didn't place the bullets where I could use them! I got past the road. Sure. You didn't tell me to place the bullets there. You ha I could potentially move through this if you're able to take this guy out. Uh -uh. Oh, I was supposed to take one more card, so hey, maybe. Dude, I'm not gonna be able to kill him, dude. I've got nothing. I've got I've got something that heals, I've got nothing that does damage. I have I have a bullet. We both have things that can do damage. Oh, you we mean start you mean turn. the massive card? Yeah. For a one? No, I know I know I it's kind like, of crazy. I feel like that's like end game guarantee you make it to the end. I understand. Okay. You're, you're, you're not wrong, but we're gonna take three damage amongst both of us. Yeah. Actually, you're gonna take it. It's just me. Yeah, solely to the other player. But if we defeat him, mm -hmm. you can take roads up to your green. You could move two to get ahead. Oh, I know, but I don't have anything to defeat him with. <sighs> well, play your card to defeat him. I'm not going to play my card. Why won't you play your card? Are you crazy? I'm not going to spend a six hit on a one. Okay. You'll be fine. You have Colin Medic. I gave you the doctor's bag. You can heal your wounds, right? Jesse, you can totally heal your wounds. Don't be, don't be selfish. I cannot heal my wounds if you catch up to me. Well, I won't be caught up next turn. Because if you don't defeat him, you're not going to move to. Is that the case? And this. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to move. I'm not going to be able to move anyways this turn. Like regardless of what happens, I do not move. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Unless we defeat him. Yes, correct. You could spend that card just to defeat him and get up next to me. It would save me wounds and it would get you where you need to be. I'm not going to play the card. <laughs> I think that's kind of silly, but okay. You could play the card. Or are you not playing the card? You're the one in danger. Because if you're not moving, then I'll be able to heal my wounds. I will only take one damage. Sure. No, no, no. You're not understanding. Oh, you're not in a phone booth. You couldn't play it. Yeah. Okay. That's a good excuse. Yeah. I'm not going to play my card, Jesse. Unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, deal with, the, with that. That sucks. <laughs> I don't trust you yet. Says the guy that's about to give me three wounds. Well, sure. I know. But if you're a witness, I want to keep you safe. What do you mean if I'm a witness, you want to keep me safe? If you're a witness, if you are my yes. collaborator. You will work together with me. Uh-huh. Which is why you should call in a hit. And I'm not going to call in a hit me. on a... On a one, if that was a four, I would I would intervene for a it's four. It's three damage. I know. I know you can heal it. I, I believe in you. You can do this. I will cool. work hard to heal you as cool. well. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. Cool. No, that's fine. <laughs> I'm Jesse, it's a one. I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're taking a wound too then. Oh, is that what's going to happen? Yep. Because no in, order, in order for me to heal, uh -huh. I have to play a card that moves me forward. Okay. That's okay. fine. What happens when you move forward? You'll take a wound. You do know that the event happens at the very end of this phase. So if you heal right now... I'm not healing right now. Okay. It's setting me up for the next time. Okay. Okay. But... That's fine. So okay. I'm playing flashback. So I'll shuffle this. And guess what I'm grabbing?
did you get? What I'll need to continue proceeding forward. Okay. Oh, the card that I played. The boots. Yeah. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fine as long as I can get my heal out before you move forward, which is possible because it'll be my turn. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, night Owl. Move and deal a wound. If you're on a road in the night, move forward two roads and deal one wound to the other player. So I'm moving forward two. I'm just going to take something out of my hand. Okay. Okay, I'm now... All right. And my second card, I'm getting rid of the bullet. What? I have another one in here. Do you want the other bullet? I'll give it to you. Why would you get rid of it? Because I need to cycle cards. You're not helping me. Why would I give you the bullet at this point? What do you mean, why would you give me the bullet so I can have it and take down these guys? Uh-huh. You realize I'm taking three wounds. Yes, yes, I understand. Take your wound. I'm taking three. I took, I took my wound. We'll be, we'll be okay. You have a medic and you have a doctor's bag, which you this, should draw right now. This doesn't help me. This does this not will. help me. That no longer helps me. What do you mean it no longer helps you? What did you just do? Oh, was that the one card? No way. It's not the it, I had two that healed me. You took one of them. Well, that's fine. So, so here's your doctor's bag. I don't need it now. What do you mean you don't need it? It says specifically, heal wounds. Anytime an advantage medicine or structure is revealed in action play of yours, heal one wound. I don't have those things right now. But you should. Like, you could take them now because you're so weak. I'm trying to go through the deck so I can find them. Okay. Hey, it's your turn. Go ahead and draw from wherever you like. Yeah. So I've got four cards. Mm hmm Five, six, seven. You have to draw up as well. No, actually, I know. I have Mr. Nash. I'm full up. So frustrating. Okay, and great. I got another bullet. So I have all the bullets I need. You want bullets? I got bullets for you, buddy. <laughs> then place them down. Get, let me if let I, me take them off. I have to heal this turn, and then I'll start putting bullets up there for you to take. Okay, I like that. So. I'm able to now move forward, correct? It won't, uh, impede, it won't impede whatever you're doing? As long as I get to go first, yeah. Now this gets revealed. Oh, you're not... Oh, okay. I Dark get gets revealed. I could move and I would lose a card from my hand. Okay. Okay, I have what I'm going to do. And I'm trying to do it in the order that you are requesting I do it. Okay? We haven't drawn an event yet. One second. What? I have a card that's really confusing. <laughs> Darn. You're like watching me. It has uh, two steps, mm -hmm. and it took me a second. What it does is it allows me to discard from the action deck and then search the discard pile. So it's like I stockpile, and then I get to go through it. Okay, so it's back to you. I know. I have to decide if I'm, mm -hmm. if I'm moving up or not. Um, I'm going to continue progressing forward because it's not too dangerous. Yeah, you're going to get to take a card. Okay. That's fine. Let me uh, guess it was a bullet. And give me an event. It wasn't a bullet. It was... It was a thing that got rid of our conditions, which is okay. Oh, okay. Uh... This isn't too bad. Okay. But it's unseen? It is unseen. Okay, so go oh, ahead yeah. and reveal Close that for the camera. Okay. It's, it's not too bad. But what is it? It's, we don't... I don't believe we have to worry about it. Okay. As far as I can tell, we don't have to worry about so it. So it's not a bad guy. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly what you said. I'm going to delay my movement. Well, I get to go first anyway. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. I think that's fine. Um... Ready? Yeah, I think we're all right. Okay, go ahead. Advantage, heal two wounds. If I'm at least three roads in front of the other player, I'm going to heal two wounds for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and play Contention. I'll take this away from you. That's fine. Because I don't see why you would want to put me in that state. No, I didn't need it. I got okay. it out of my hand. I got two cards out of my hand when okay. I played that. Okay. And you do get to take this card if you like. Uh, 
the other player may choose to take contention in their hand if they do so they receive one wound. Yeah. So I could then steal your gun from you? Is that what you're telling me? No, you could. Since we've been squabbling about it this whole time? You could, potentially. Sure. Uh, I don't think I need it. Okay, good. <laughs> that was a test. Yeah, was it? And then sneakers. Yeah, move forward too. Awesome. And I now get to grab one of these. Okay. <laughs> what? It was a test. It was a I was test. Just seeing if you would assume what you do. I don't know, bro. <laughs> oh. Interesting. So you draw first. Mm-hmm. I will definitely be drawing this turn finally. So I'm gonna go ahead and discard Mr. DeVarco. Okay. Uh, he'll be popping back into the ally deck, and I'm gonna randomly draw three ally cards from the deck. Mm, fascinating and very chaotic. Yeah, it is. It is a little chaotic. Okay. Mm. Okay. Are you going to go ahead? And, so go ahead and draw. Yep. So four, five. Six, seven. And then I will just draw one card. Okay. Okay. Your event turn? And are you moving forward? No, I'm not. I'm going to be staying right where I am. Mm hmm And let's go ahead and draw that event. Okay. Public. Four. I'm... Ye Did you get any bullets? No. Not at all. And you didn't keep contention, so yeah, should probably give me some bullets. I haven't had an opportunity to give you bullets. Well, I think you should have left not. me with the gun. No, you are you are not trustworthy, sir. <laughs> what? It's true. You are now holding the gun that's going to get us killed. Well, maybe. Your choice of any number between one and three, divided among the players as you choose. Mm -hmm. Opposition defeated. Heal wounds up to one, divided among the players as you choose. Okay, that's actually not that bad. We can take that. I, I'll, we're actually at the same health. I will take that hit if we can't take them you down. You better. I, I better. You're holding the gun and I have two bullets in my hand. You have a hit that you can call at any time. <sighs> You're literally the worst. What, it, what do you mean I'm playing Genu safe? Genuinely the worst. I am playing safe, sir. I'm playing safe. very safe. Safe is going to get me dead. <laughs> well, I don't I don't believe that at all. You realize we lost the game the first time we played because of things like this. No. Not at all. <laughs> we both died horrifically on the road. Because <laughs> you ran ahead and we didn't trust each other. You're running ahead right now. I moved ahead to heal. Oh, sure you did. Oh, and this is flip, by the way. Ooh, it's an ambush of two. Oof. That's fun. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to reveal first. Whispers. I'm going to take some ally cards. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can take up to two. And now that everything is messed up in here. I had to mix it for when <laughs> I, uh, for when I had to randomly draw some. Oh, I'm going to take my favorite. Hopefully she's still in here. Yep. I'm going to take two. Okay. Now, down to you. Uh, plan ahead. Deal the top five cards. Those are mine. No, but those are Mr. Vespato, no? no? These are the three oh. I just got. Oh. Deal the top five cards of the action deck face down into the discard pile. And then uh, I'm going to take a card from draw pile. Search the action deck for any card and place it into your hand. Shuffle the deck afterwards. Oh, search the action deck. Yep. Wow, okay. So I get to go through and find one card to add to my hand. Uh, pretty powerful. Yeah, that's actually, that's actually more powerful than I <laughs> originally thought. Wow, okay. Interesting. Hmm. I'll go ahead and reveal my next one. I, th I actually think this is an excellent opportunity to do so. But I won't explain what it is until you're done. There's so many cool cards in here. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually, like just how many opportunities there are. Choose the one that fits you best, bro. There's a duck in here. <laughs> a mallard. Cool. Interesting. I think there's only one gun in here so far as I've seen. <laughs> I just think that's interesting. 
Mm -hmm. Unless you've discarded one. No. Well, except that the five cards there were just happened. Okay, so I've went ahead and selected uh, the card for my deck. Okay. And now what? Anything? Oh, it's time for a show of trust. Okay. I will show you my entire action hand. Yeah. And then you decide if you want to show me yours. Show of trust. Show your entire action hand to the other player. Give the the op the give the other player the option of showing you as much or little of their own uh, hand as they would like. So let's see if you've been truthful, sir. Interesting. Call in a hit. Mm -hmm. uh, spyglass. Mm -hmm. Sign a condition. Plan ahead. Same one that I just had. Tar. Uh, you're gonna freeze someone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Streetlight. Heal two of your wounds. Discard your entire hand. Remove this card from the game. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, chameleon. Uh, same text as another strength in numbers or teamwork card. So you could actually pair that with strength in numbers, which is if not bad. If they were the same type of card. Oh, they're not? Yeah. Okay. Um, so if I know you at all as a player, you have been... Bullets? Is that really all you're going to show me? I showed you my I, entire hand. I am going through and showing you my hand. I'm showing you that I have bullets. Okay, uh-huh. Showing you that I have... What else do you have? Call in a hit. Uh-huh, the, all the cards I know you already have. I have the falls. What? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Repetition, copies a card. Okay. Tinkerer, restore uh -huh. uh, last gasp. Uh-huh. And the duck. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know exactly what we're gonna <laughs> do now. What? I know exactly what you are. A hundred percent now. Okay. Whoa. I think that's you've been stockpiling on really stockpiling getting to what? the very end of that road. As this, soon as you grab that card, huh? This doesn't this doesn't do anything if we're both witnesses. No, that does that is not what it says. If you're at the end of the road and are truly a witness, mm -hmm. no bluffing, the other player receives nine wounds and takes wounds, cannot be healed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's not what you think it is. You will if, automatically kill me, regardless if I'm a witness or not. No. Yes. No. Yes, that is exactly what it says right there. What you do you mean? You kill the other player. No, you, if you are truly a witness. If you don't believe the other person, you get to the end of the road. No, 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 if, if you, right? Uh -huh. If you are at the end of the road and are truly a witness, no yep. bluffing. You have to play it. You choose to kill me, no matter what. Like you kill me, that's it. If, if you play it. Sure, of course. Yes. You, but you play it at the end. That's only that's only if I don't trust you. Exactly. This doesn't. This is just a random draw. That's only if I don't trust you. But what about everything else in there? Everything else. What everything else? These are the everything in the there. Two is, bullets. No, the duck trying to dash forward. The what is that? Restore your last gasp and get in, in case you got knocked out for some reason. <laughs> I don't Repetition. Know. I, these are literally the cards that I have in my hand. I trusted you and showed you my hand. Well, sure, I and know. And now you're accusing me. I don't know. I um, seriously. I don't. Would I, I have showed you my hand? Yes. Yes, you would have. A hundred percent to try and distract me. Seriously. Well, that's that's you're what insane. I think. <laughs> I'm well. We'll see. You're the one that's going to throw another human being off a fall. No, I, I think it's highly possible that you're the villain now. Oh, sure. Okay. I... Oh, God. Mm-hmm. It only makes sense because I have a feeling that you drew that duck card because it could help you sprint to the end because you want to play the, that card against me. The duck card doesn't help you sprint. It moves you one. It moves you faster. And this card I only play if I think you're the assassin. Or if you're the assassin, you just want to take me down. It says, if I'm the assassin, I can't oh. use this card. No, you're right. That's you're what right. I'm pointing out. Okay, you're right. I still don't trust It doesn't you. do anything for me. If I'm the assassin, it doesn't help me. Okay. And if I'm not the assassin, then there's no reason for me to play it unless I think you are trying to kill me, which right now, <laughs> after I show you my hand... <laughs> I understand your logic. And as far as I the, get it. As far as the duck card's concerned... Why would I draw a duck card? I don't know, Jan. Because someone pressured me to make a choice? Well, you were taking quite a while, sir. Okay, you know what? I have Mother. I have retracted some of the decisions I was going to make. I, Does that make you feel better? No, I feel like I've just been run through the gauntlet. <laughs> and I thought we were good. Um, whose turn is it? 
we're still dealing with this. With this one? Yeah. But whose turn is it? I think it was it my was turn. It was on your turn. We're going to take damage. You said you would take it. No, you're going to take three. You're going to give me three no, damage? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I will take one. I will take one. I'm kidding. It was a joke. What? I swear to God if we lose this game because you're so suspicious. I'm very suspicious of you. You're right. Um, I'm going to take two cards from the very top there. I'm taking one. Okay. It's down to you. All right. Oh, here's the question. I don't really want to go. You don't want to get ambushed? I No, <laughs> not really. I don't know that I have a way to... Uh... All right. Okay. I think I can get by that too. Or you can skip it. I, Yeah, I, can, I think I can get by it. Okay. But I can only get by it by playing a, a repetition card that allows you to move again. That would cause you damage. Are you able to heal? <laughs> I'm just telling you. Before I play it, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, you can look at me like that. It's the only way I can get by that. Why can't you just lose two cards? Why do I have I mean, to I, keep taking I can, damage? I can lose two cards. I'd prefer not to. I've got bullets that I can lose, I suppose, since we don't it's apparently... It's randomized. We don't apparently need the bullets. <laughs> well, yes, we do. You know what? You do whatever you gotta do. Oh, you turn up. I'm not gonna... I did not say I'm gonna do anything in specific. You do I could even. I could even try do. to move you forward, but... If you do move me forward, before you do that, I will appreciate it very much. Will you move me forward? Well, let's look at the event. That's our start. Okay. That's a scene. The weakest link. If in front of you, the other player moves one road behind you. Okay, we're fine. I can't move you one. You just said you could move me one. I can't move you one. How much, how much can you move me? I could just move you two. Oh, that's, that's good. I like that. And you know what? If you do do that, I will uh, I will do something positive for you in return. Maybe. No, you know what? No. <laughs> well, mm, no. I will play this this turn. Or, oh, all right. We could, could fill that up. All right. I'll get you. I'll push you forward. I'll do that for you. I will place this down here. Okay. Let you kill the other player. No, not just that. What? That's the combo you've been looking for. Oh, the doctor's bag and the uh, the suture kit. Mm -hmm. But that. No, you need the doctor bag to heal me. No, no, no. That's not how that works. Anytime an advantage medicine or suture kit is revealed in an uh, action, you heal. Gotcha. Well, okay. Okay. I mean, it doesn't. You can heal me. Sure. Okay. Compel to move. Just like I told you to do. Must either move forward two roads or receive one wound. I yep. will move forward two roads and now I have an ambush. I should probably not do that facing you. Ambush don't cause us damage, do they? No. You sure? No. You're not sure? No. Check that. You're the one that read the rules, buddy. Is it really all the way over there? Discard a number of action cards and receive that number of wounds. So let's update that yeah. here and here for you. So we just moved on to there and we double checked something because I was curious about this two up here, which mm -hmm. I would like to avoid. Uh, we are each taking two more wounds because it not only discards a card, but mm -hmm. it also gives you a number of wounds. Yeah. So um, I need to Also, you would discard one more because it's one, two, three. Or, oh, you skipped this I skipped one, right? that one. Okay. At least I think I skipped that one. Well, I skipped one of them. I believe I only take two. Okay. Uh, I'm dying. Please help. Yeah, we're certainly getting close. Okay, I moved. I got you forward, though. Yes, you did. <sighs> On to you. I'm going to consume that. 
Is that okay? Actually, no, because you, you should take you the suture You can't do kit. it until the top of your phase. Ends. No, yeah, yeah. So first of all, take both of those. I can't refill. I can take one of them. I can't refill Max, but I can go ahead and take the suture kit. Hmm. I don't want to keep pushing myself at this point. Well, first off, let's go ahead and uh, heal a little bit here. You know, well, stock up. Decide if you're moving forward. Well, I need to grab my cards first. That might help me decide. Hmm. Okay. I know what I'm doing this turn. Okay. Well, check. We gotta check the event. I know, I know, but I know what I'm doing this turn regardless. Hmm. Hmm. Hidden or not? Yes, yeah, pretty bad. Hidden? Okay, what is it? It's really, really bad. We need to take this guy out. Um, it's going to be equivalent to yellow Can on my card. Yeah, you're good. So three. To who? I feel like you're lying. No, I swear. I swear I think you're lying. I never said... It's going to affect us both. Then is your plan changing due to this? I can do damage. Okay. I think you're going to have to. How much damage can you do? None. What do you mean none? I don't have it. I've showed you my cards. I have bullets. It'd be convenient if I could do damage, wouldn't it, Jan? If we still had a gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Screwball. I swear. You swear. All right. You swear. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, I want to play that. Go ahead. Mm hmm. you're firing okay at you why at me no i'm kidding i'll fire two <laughs> of that guy so that i've enough? done my part is that enough no i i told you what it was i needed you to do one more hit you didn't tell me to do one more hit i said just first off it. i couldn't do any hits i told you that i told you that all right i'm moving forward so I'm moving forward here, and then I'm playing repetition to move forward here so that I don't get stuck on that location with two. That's all I had. <laughs> what? You're looking at me. You're so accusatory. Uh, you're going to take uh, two wounds. What? This, this causes you to take a wound when I move forward with the duck. I'm accusatory? Yeah, you are. Yeah? Yeah, you are. Okay. All right. Okay, sure. I'm 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 accusatory. You're currently being accusatory. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Uh-huh. Did we take care of it? Were you lying about that event? Mhm. Mm what? Did we take care of oh, it? Oh, we definitely have to. Um we both have to discard four cards. <laughs> yes. You can't lie about the tech stuff. <laughs> I'm not lying. You are horrendous. You're a horrendous human being. You can't lie about the... I am I am not. I'm not lying. I am not lying at all. <sighs> okay. Four cards. Mm-hmm. Oh, those stay. <laughs> <laughs> you were holding on to those for dear no, life. I thought you were going to come look at them. I was like, don't start discarding cards. It's 100% my turn, though. No, it's not. You just went. Oh, that's true. I always, I don't know why I get it mixed up. So yeah, go ahead and draw now, back Now, did you up. want to move forward when you went, or you decided to stay there? Yes, I 100% okay. decided to stay there. Three. Because I was four, fearful of this. Five. 
Six. I mean, you're in a decent position. You're oh, still sure. not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so it's on to my turn. Um, I can move forward fine, and then all we have to do is get you to the end. Sure. <laughs> so suspicious. Sure. All right. Moving here, I take one of these cards. Okay. And then we're drawing an event card. Mm hmm I cannot show this to you. So mm -hmm. close your eyes. Mm-hmm. You can look again. I'm going to read it now. Both players are receiving one wound. Uh, and then you're going to have to show me three of your cards. It can be your choice, though. Is that right now, no matter what? That's that's what this event's going to do. Go ahead and take a wound. We both will. When? When we resolve the event, we've got to play it on our sequence, and then we resolve, right? <sighs> yeah, event processing yeah. is going to happen at the very end. Okay. True colors time. <laughs> what do you mean? True colors time. <laughs> what do you mean by true colors? Flip your card. Yeah. Uh, if the other player has at least three more wounds than you, they receive nine wounds, and their wounds cannot be healed this turn. <laughs> I don't have more than three. Yes, you do. No, I'm at seven. One, oh, it is. I guess I died, right? What'd you do? You did both of your secret I knew, ones as well? I knew who you were the entire time! I knew it! I knew it! God, oh! I hate you, I, I knew it. I knew it the entire time. You're so lucky you got that card. I, but that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a perfect yeah, card. A, Did a, you have anything else to take me down? Uh, I was going to start peppering you, but I didn't know that I could like... I we're didn't gonna know, get the chance. I didn't know I could finish you. You were calling it a hit on me? Yes. Because you were at the phone. So uh -huh. you were going to try to call in a hit on me. What yeah. is it? If you are truly a witness, the other player randomly discards a number of action cards equal to half their wound total, rounded up, and then receives nine wounds. I still potentially could have healed though. Well, sure, potentially. Because I did have... I know, because I gave you everything you needed. I did have the tincture. Uh-huh. My next play was to get... Here's the crazy thing. I shuffled those ally cards. I still drew through the same. Wow. So, like, all I needed was I could play uh, a private call, mm -hmm. pull another one of hers, and then I'd get to cycle through ten of those decks, which probably would have got me real close to killing you. I knew it from the very beginning. We are too good of friends... Like, I was not ready to be secretive. <laughs> Am I right? Like, I mean, right away, I was like, oh, God, I'm not I'm not hiding anything very well. I should have just I went least, with my I gut. I at least convinced you to continue, to continue on with me. should have went with my gut. I wanted to keep you tarred down is one of the things I wanted to do. Well, you didn't. I know I didn't. It was time. Here's, here's the coolest thing. The card that got me to the end, the card that won the game... Wounded you just enough to secure that last Was the hit. duck. Was the duck. Yeah. So proud of that little guy. Mm -hmm. So proud. That's why there's not a goose in this game, Jan, because ducks always come in first. You mean ducks are deceitful, horrible liars? Because that's what you are. As far as I can tell, ducks win games, buddy old pal. Oh, okay. All right. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. So people have made it to this part in the video. I think that was an interesting gameplay. Oh, it was fascinating. I feel good about it. You, oh, yeah. You called me. You should feel good about knowing... You just should have acted on it. You did. The, like, right now is when we both acted on it, right? You weren't supposed to be able to kill me now. Yeah, well, I'm kind of curious about the other one here. Sometimes, lots of damage. If you are at the end of the road, deal five wounds each to the event opposition and the other player and yourself. So a car bomb. That would, have, a, that would have destroyed both of us. It's kind of interesting. That would have destroyed both of us, but I would have at least been able to tincture myself. Did you have anything to keep yourself alive? Mm, no, I was on, uh, unfortunately a pugilist, so ah. I couldn't take advantage of Doctor's Bag. And That's then why I gave it away. I was also a pugilist, mm -hmm. so nine wounds. Yep. Okay, but I, but again, I couldn't have used that Doctor's Bag anyway. <laughs> That's why you gave it away so quickly, though, isn't it? That's so funny. Now, here's the oh. funny thing. When I mentioned that I had a card that I needed, but I didn't have the other one, 
it wasn't the doctor's bag. Mm -hmm. I I had the pliers, mm -hmm. and I needed this, the cut, this wires. cut wires card because that would have silenced you, kept you from calling in a hit, mm -hmm. and allowed me to just finish you off. Mm. Fantastic. Snippity, snippity, snippity. And did you ever get the pliers? I no. had them at the beginning of the game. Now, what I didn't realize, mm -hmm. one thing that we've started to discover, there's only like one gun in this game. Mm -hmm. There's only like one set of pliers. Like having those cards, like the fact that you got the gun and we squabbled over it, and I had all the bullets, like that was kind of a big deal. I didn't realize I was giving up like the gun. Mm -hmm. Did I at least gain some trust back with you? You were skeptical of me the entire time. And you never gained the I full gave amount you, of trust. But I gave you the gun. Yeah, you did. I showed you my entire hand. Which was all completely engineered to do exactly what I thought you were going to do. <laughs> it was exactly what I thought you were going to do. I know you enough. I was it, like, if I see those cars and they have anything about moving forward, doing this and doing that, the only thing that maybe gave you the saving grace was convincing me that, oh, the falls, you know, they, uh, they can't affect you, you're fine. I like that you focused on that, because you misinterpret. we both misinterpreted it a little bit, and mm -hmm. I was able to double down and like, it doesn't do anything for me. It did it's good for you, it would have been great for you to have, because then you would have raced ahead of me, right? But it doesn't do anything for me. Alright, we've been, we've been back and forth a little bit. Very quickly, before we say goodbye, tell people to, sub to subscribe and check out the Kickstarter when it arrives. Don't trust this man ever with anything in your life. What's uh, what's your sense around around Mantis Falls for a for a two player social deduction game? Right? I don't think I can look at you the same way ever again. Oh come on, you knew it the whole time. Yeah, I exactly. I can't lie to you. Buddy, Ex boy. You did. Well, you died through the entire thing. No. Um. I I really enjoyed this particular playthrough. Um. I think it captured that sense of tension that you get in larger social deduction sure. games. Um, the cues here are a little bit different. Um, similar to other two-player games like this, it's all about card draft, well, not card drafting, but card management, sure. card play, um, and trying to keep all your aces in hand to play as at the right time, which is technically what you did. There's a little bit of luck, like any card touch, game. Sure. Uh, especially these cards right here, which are called the Midnight cards. I think those are uh, the swingiest of them. They're, all. they're powerful for both players, but mm -hmm. here's the thing. We're also new to this game. In the rule book, it talks about the fact that a few first plays are required to understand the depth. Like mm -hmm. throughout the course of this game, we saw cards that were powerful that we didn't know about. We ran across the Broken Road, which we haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. And I discovered by looking through the action deck that there's only one of most of these items in here unless they specifically need a pair like strength and numbers. Mm -hmm. So the amount of grit and tension in giving up or using an item, like I should have never used the pliers right away mm -hmm. in the hope that I would get this. But mm -hmm. I did to like contribute and I thought I'd probably come around tools again. There's no more tools. Mm -hmm. There's no more opportunity for that. Like that, I gave up a real decision I had to make. So the tension early on will now be intensified the next time we play the game because that gun was fun to squabble back and forth with. Until I realized I'm sitting with three bullets in my hand, no way to get the gun from you, mm -hmm. and that's the only gun in the game. I would have pulled one if there was one in there because then I could have played bullet, bullet, bullet. Like, Yeah, I think the action economy, which is what I would distill this into, um, is, is, is really interesting and compelling, right? Uh, I think, as you well stated, having knowledge of what's in there will sure. just completely transform games Which moving forward. Which is true when it comes to like kind of head-to-head -head two player game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's that's true when it comes to like some of your most tactical games. Your Watergate and your Airland and Sea, these good head-to-head -head quick playing, you know, real thinky games. I, mm -hmm. For me, I really, I really actually dig this style of a social deduction game. And I don't I don't love a lot of big box social deduction games. There's a few that I've liked, mm -hmm. but it is rare and, and you know, far between, and actually my favorite, mm -hmm. uh, my favorite right now is a little game called Feed the Kraken. A little game. Which is also going to be a Kickstarter launch. And uh, we're covering it as well. Point, we're also covering it as well. It plays best at eight. Mm -hmm. And here we just played one at two. This was solid at two. Like, I had a good time with it. Now, the tension between two players, <laughs> like, we know each other so well. Like, I, I can't deceive you in a big box game. Us going head-to-head -head in this, I can see with multiple plays mm -hmm. how this gets even richer. 
because mm -hmm. I start learning to trust or mistrust, and I try, to, like, I have to change my cues to to maybe not give as much away. Like, I was a little smiley and giddy in this one, and I just couldn't get it off my face. But <sighs> I can see how a couple playing this, mm -hmm. like, two close good friends, uh, could go head to head and be betrayed without realizing it at the end, thinking they're overcoming all the difficulties in that final blow. I mean, it's a lot of high tension. And you have a big decision to make, too, as a yep. witness. If I hadn't been bad, mm -hmm. that would have sealed the deal. Now I was clearly bad. Yeah. But if I hadn't been, if you were only kind of suspicious, mm -hmm. calling in a hit on the other witness... Is a huge deal. ...is endgame. Mm -hmm. It's also a big deal. Mm -hmm. So, I, I don't know. I mean, this one really hit a sweet spot for me. Mm -hmm. um, it is... Uh, it is one that I think takes a little bit of description and a little bit of representation to understand how it's going to play on the table. Um, but I really genuinely enjoyed this play uh, more than our previous. Um, and I am intrigued and excited to sit down and play it again. And I'd love to get it into the hands of someone like Matt, mm -hmm. whose social deduction, <laughs> social deduction oh, is his sweet spot. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I think I just want to highlight a little bit before we go is that in case you didn't hear it, this is a social deduction game sure. for two players. That's kind doesn't, of unheard of. Doesn't really exist. I mean, I'm sure there's a example out there mm -hmm. that we're maybe not as familiar with. But out of the social deduction games I've played, they don't scale well to smaller groups. No, and it's 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 really interesting how they made this work. Mm. Like right, there's there's small cues in many of these cards yep. that start seeding distrust mechanically yep a hit over here oh i'm doing this to help us move forward but sure you, you have to take a repercussion out of that or the event cards where you just have to trust me mm -hmm. to resolve it correctly did you lie to me at all throughout the course of those event cards yes did you consistently yes. no no one time one time i said that we needed five and i ended up suffering for that so i remember when i took down the first guy yeah that was my bad. I could have just killed him with one So you didn't ally. actually need that many? You were trying to get cards out of my hand and I didn't have anything to play off of? Yep. Interesting. So here, mm -hmm. I had a card that had no effect at all. Mm. And I said, we need to do a little bit of damage. And you did no damage. So then I moved up here and I said, oh no, it's not going to do anything. And you went, oh, it was green. And I went, yeah. Yeah, it was green. Like, that's exactly right. It was the green stoplight. So, triggered. and to be clear, you can what you can lie specifically about, like, for example, on an unseen card here, you can lie about the health, for example. Mm -hmm. You can lie about what happens when... You can't lie in, about what not defeated. Until action. it gets down to resolving, you can mm -hmm. say anything you want. But that also puts you in a tight spot, because mm -hmm. you, if you're lying poorly, or they're not ready to help out, then... You're going to have to figure out a creative way to get out of your deception, but mm -hmm. once it comes to resolving the card itself, the text on the card, you must do it as accurately or 100% accurately. Now, okay. there's wiggle room. There's things that say may. There's things where you can choose a scale. And so you decide there. You don't mm -hmm. have to tell them what the decision was, but you have to resolve it truthfully. So you kind of purposefully try to keep information away from the other player. 100%. While still giving them a little bit that they enough, need. Enough that... You deceive them without revealing that you are lying to them. Because and this is, at its heart, like the uh, box here says, a game, a game of trust. Of trust. <laughs> and we did not have much trust. Not at all, and I there was a good reason for it. Uh, yeah, I think that mechanically this is uh, really intelligent, right? It's it's doing it's taking a lot of boxes that I would have never expected in a small box game like this. Sure. And for people that are fans of two-player experiences, and by the sure. way, this can actually play up to three. It's skill to three. Yeah, there is a third person that kind of rotates. A bystander. In every event. Mm -hmm. So we might be head-to-head -head while they sit out, mm -hmm. or they interact in a different way, and then it circles back around. So mm -hmm. everyone exists as a bystander throughout mm -hmm. the course of the game. Um, I don't know. It has, it has a je ne sais quoi element about it that makes it into something really unique that I have not seen before, especially within this two-player genre. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very cool one. I, I genuinely had a good time playing with you. It um, was it I was thought, fun. The tension was, was interesting cool. interesting and dynamic, and I, I do have to honestly say the tension will ramp the more we know about this game mm -hmm. because I will understand the consequence of the cards you're playing 
in a different light. And I will never trust you again. But you know who I do trust? Yeah. I trust them okay. to potentially subscribe uh, to, if they like it, maybe go on the Patreon to if they've maybe been jumping on no, the no, website. No, 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 no. Listen. Don't listen to this guy. What? He's you clearly, saw what he did this entire game. Whatever you do, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games, but not with Jesse. <laughs> we'll see you next time.